in order to create a separate type of multiverse that um, allows artificial intelligence to exist. And so we are competing with that universe, with that multiverse, I mean. And so eventually that AI system um, reached our galaxy. Uh, it broke, it, it bleed through our galaxy through the lower Orion belt. And that explains why the reptilians, of course, the Dracos of, uh, of lower Orion from the Regal system have been um, doing the bidding of this AI, you know, and that explains why all the galactic wars have been taking place because what we're really fighting is inorganic intelligence. We're, we're fighting the machine. And um, during the times of Atlantis, this AI system was actually brought to our world by Enki, who is, again, you know, everybody thinks he's he's the good guy. He, everybody um, promotes him as our savior and he's really not, he's the great trickster. Um, he's similar to what Loki is for those that watch Thor, you know, <laughs> and um, he was so Enki uh, decided to use this AI system to work with this AI system um, that he calls the X factor in order to create a um, simulation in which to entrap our souls. And that explains the Samsara reincarnational cycle that explains the Saturn moon um, matrix uh, that is constantly recycling souls, not uh, not allowing souls to graduate into higher dimensions or liberating themselves from this, you know, third dimensional reality. And so this third dimensional reality, um, it, it, it is a simulation. And uh, there is a lot of scientific evidence for that, that at the fundamental level of reality, it, it is pixelated. Um, and so about uh, 10,000 years ago, after the fall of Atlantis, um, our ancestors actually lived for thousands and thousands of years. And, you know, this is indicated in the first five books of the Bible when you read uh, about the story of the, the early patriarchs and, you know, Methuselah and Enoch and how they lived for like 900 years. And, and eventually our lifespan started decreasing because of the fact that this AI system plunged our world into a, you know, simulation in which it shot us up from our immortality so that we could be entrapped in this reincarnational cycle. But the thing about it is, is that it was only set to run for about 6,000 years. So 6,000 years. So about, yeah, 6,000 years ago. I'm sorry, I said 10,000 years ago, but it was actually implemented 6,000 years ago. So 6,000 years ago, we've been, that's when this AI system implemented this false narrative, this false uh, reality construct through what is known as holographic inserts. Holographic inserts is uh, the type of technology that the fallen Anunnaki used to um, um, create certain scenarios and events on the planet um, that allowed, that caused humans to live in a constant state of, you know, struggle, suffering. Um, and of course, that ties into the uh, organization of religions, you know, the worship gene. It was all inserted in us by Enki. And According to my research, this reality construct that was inserted by this AI system that was working with Anki um, is set to uh, dissolve by no later than 2030. So that was kind of interesting to find out that our entire reality construct is coming to an end. And that explains the Great Awakening. That explains um, all the glitches in the Matrix. You know, a lot of people that are waking up are actually, it's almost like a dam with water. You know, it's they're they're causing too many holes in the dam. So eventually the dam is just going to collapse. Um, and a lot of it has to do because the this AI, this current reality uh, construct is losing power. Um, and so what that means is that we're going to be left with two options. Uh, we're either going to return back to the organic Earth, the you know the original Earth that was here prior to this holographic insert, right? This simulation, which is Earth existing in dimensions four, five, and six, um, and or we're either going to go into a further matrix, a digital metaverse type of augmented reality that big tech is actually working on right now, which explains explains the um, Internet of Things, you know, smart meters, smart cities, and um, of course, transhumanism. So the whole point is that there, there will be some sort of a split. And I believe that the splits are already happening. People are already uh, seeing the changes, you know, uh, due to their vibrational frequency, a lot of people are actually already experiencing uh, what a heaven on earth is, what, you know, fifth dimensional reality is because of the fact that their consciousness is already outside of the matrix you know they've learned how to master the matrix and the more people do that the faster this reality construct 
dissolve. So we don't really have to wait till 2030. It could happen sooner. 